Welcome to the Financial Knowledge Network Money Smart Learning Series, Lesson Number 4, Money Matters. The Money Smart Money Matters Lesson Plan will explain the basic concepts of proper budgeting of your money and explain some different ways you can keep track of your money. Good budgeting is a key element of any debt elimination plan. By being able to create and follow a spending budget, you will ensure that you can provide yourself the means to gain financial freedom. We offer the most comprehensive tools available today to help you understand how to manage and eliminate your debt. In Money Matters, we help you understand how to keep track of your daily spending habits, prepare a personal spending plan, estimate your monthly expenses, identify ways to decrease spending and increase income, and identify budgeting tools to help you manage your money. How to Prepare a Budget Preparing a budget is a multi-step process that will allow you to keep better track of your spending and help you better understand these habits. We also call it a personal spending plan. By creating your personal spending plan, you will reap several important benefits. You will have reduced money-related anxiety and stress. You will have more control over your financial situation. And it will help you build assets to improve the quality of your life. The four steps to creating a personal budget are Step 1 track your daily spending. Step 2. Determine income and expenses. Step 3. Find ways to decrease spending. And Step 4. Find ways to increase income. If you want to be in control of your money, it is critical that you understand where your money goes. One way to do this is to keep a spending diary to record everything you spend. You can use this information to track your spending over a period of time, say a month, so that you can see how you are spending your money. Daily Spending Diary What did I spend my money on today? Remember to plan for income and expenses that do not occur on a monthly basis. Tips to help you decrease spending or save more money. Carry only small amounts of cash in your wallet so you will not spend it. Use direct deposit for your paycheck or federal benefits such as Social Security. Control your use of credit cards. Do not go shopping just for fun. Take your written savings goals with you as a reminder. Buy only what you need. Do not buy things just because they are on sale. Use coupons to save money. Use a grocery shopping list to prevent impulse buying. Take your lunch to work instead of eating out. Shop around to get the best deal on big ticket items like cars and appliances. Pay your bills on time to avoid late fees, extra finance charges, utilities being turned off, eviction, repossessions, and the cost of a bad credit rating. Direct Deposit Myths versus Facts Using direct deposit for your paycheck and state or federal benefits is safer and easier than using paper checks. Below, common misconceptions about direct deposit are corrected. Myth Receiving paychecks or benefit payments in the form of a paper check gives you more control over your money because you can deposit it at your bank or credit union when it is convenient for you. Fact With direct deposit, your money goes into your account at the same time each month eliminating the risk of stolen checks and forgeries and helping protect you from identity theft. Myth. Switching to direct deposit is time-consuming and a hassle. Fact. Enrolling in direct deposit is usually fast and easy, whether you receive a paycheck or a government benefit. If you receive Social Security or Supplemental Security Income, SSI, you can sign up for direct deposit in less than five minutes by calling the GoDirect toll-free helpline at 1-800-333-1795, enrolling online at www.godirect.org, or signing up at your local bank or credit union. Myth. People who do not have a bank account should not consider direct deposit. Fact. There are options available if you have not yet signed up for an account. Call the U.S. Treasury's Go Direct toll-free helpline at 1-800-333-1795 for help finding a financial institution that offers low or no-cost accounts. Myth. If you use direct deposit, you will not know when your money is in your account. Fact. You can be sure your money is in your account by the time your bank opens on payment day. Paper checks can get lost or stolen, but with direct deposit, your money is in your account on time, every time. Myth. Direct deposit does not really save time because the check still must be mailed to the bank. Fact. With direct deposit, your federal benefit payment is electronically transferred to your bank account, 
The payment process is completely paperless. Myth. Direct deposit is not a trustworthy way to receive federal benefit payments. Fact. Direct deposit is completely reliable. You are 30 times more likely to have a problem with your federal benefit check than with your direct deposit payment. Myth. Direct deposit is not as safe as receiving a check because it is sent over the Internet. Fact. Direct deposit works by transferring funds directly into your account through a highly secure electronic banking system, not the Internet. It is the same system used by the world's leading financial institutions. Myth. Direct deposit is expensive. Fact. Most banks and credit unions do not charge you to sign up for direct deposit. In fact, they may waive your monthly checking account fee if you have direct deposit. Tax credits that may increase your income. Earned Income Tax Credit The Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC, is a refundable federal income tax credit for people who work but do not earn high incomes. If you qualify, the EITC reduces the amount of tax you owe and it may give you a refund. You may even be eligible for an advance EITC, which allows you to receive part of the credit in each paycheck during the year. You file Form W-5 with your employer to get the advance EITC. The following eligibility requirements apply. You must have a valid Social Security number. You must be between 25 and 65 years of age unless you have a qualifying child. A qualifying child must live with you in the United States more than half of the year. You must have earned income from wages or self-employment. This does not include alimony, child support, welfare benefits, unemployment benefits, interest, dividends, pensions, and certain workforce payments. You cannot file your taxes as married, filing separately. All of the rules and examples can be found in IRS Publication 596. Benefits can range from $2 to over $4,500, depending on earned income, number of qualifying children, and other factors. Any refund you receive as a result of taking the EITC will not be used to determine your eligibility for the following programs or how much you can receive from them. Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, TANF, Medicaid, Food Stamps, and Housing Assistance. Child Tax Credit the child tax credit can lower the amount of income tax you owe and increase any refund you might receive. The benefit can be as high as $1,000 per child. Information is available in IRS Publication 972. The tax credit application form and the IRS publication are available at www.irs.gov or by calling the IRS at 1-800-829-3676 or 1-800-829-1040. Eligibility requirements include the following and are fully explained in IRS Publication 972 or Form 1040 or 1040A instructions. The child must be 17 years of age or younger by the end of the tax year. The child must be a U.S. citizen, resident, or national. Credit for child and dependent care expenses. If you pay someone to care for your child under the age of 13, for your spouse or for another dependent who is not able to care for him or herself, you may be eligible for a tax credit. The tax credit can lower the amount of income tax you owe and increase any refund you might receive. To qualify, you must pay the child or dependent care expenses so you can work or look for work. There are other requirements. Information is available in IRS Publication 503 or in Form 1040 or 1040A instructions. The tax credit application form and the IRS publication are available at www.irs.gov or by calling the IRS at 1-800-829-3676 or 1-800-829-1040. Education Credits. If you are saving for or paying education costs for yourself or another student to attend a college, university, vocational school, or other post-secondary education institution, you may be eligible for a tax credit. The amount of credit you can take depends on your filing status, your adjusted gross income, and your eligible expenses. Information is available in IRS Publication 970. The tax credit application form and the IRS publication are available at www.irs.gov or by calling the IRS at 1-800-829-3676 
or 1-800-829-1040. Credit for retirement savings contributions. If you make eligible contributions to an employer-sponsored retirement plan or to an individual retirement arrangement, an IRA, you may be eligible for a tax credit. The amount of credit you can take depends on your filing status, your adjusted gross income, and your eligible contributions. To claim the credit, complete IRS Form 8880 and submit it with your federal income tax form. A copy of the tax credit application form is available at www.irs.gov or by calling the IRS at 1-800-829-3676 or 1-800-829-1040. Free Income Tax Preparation Assistance the IRS-sponsored Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, VITA, and Tax Counseling for the Elderly Program, TCE, provide free basic income tax return preparation to individuals with low to moderate incomes, individuals with disabilities, non-English speaking taxpayers, and the elderly. In addition to free assistance, many sites offer free electronic filing or e-filing. During the tax season, VITA and TCE sites are located at libraries, churches, community centers, shopping malls, and retirement homes. To take advantage of these volunteer assistance programs, bring the following information when you visit a VITA or TCE site. Photo identification, social security cards or individual taxpayer identification cards for you, your spouse, and your dependents, if applicable. Birth dates for you, your spouse, and your dependents, if applicable. Wage and earnings statements, Form W-2, W-2G, 1099-R from each employer. Interest and dividend statements from banks, Forms 1099. Other relevant information about income and expenses. If claiming daycare expenses, total amount paid, and daycare provider's tax identification number. A copy of last year's tax return, if available bank account number and routing number for direct deposit, all other information relating to this year's return. To obtain the location, dates, and hours of the volunteer site closest to you, call the IRS toll-free tax helpline for individuals at 1-800-829-1040. The AARP provides free tax assistance to elderly taxpayers. For AARP sites, call 1-888-AARP-NOW. That's 1-888-227-7669. Remember, you must provide accurate information when applying for these benefits. Tax fraud is a serious offense. Other budgeting tools. Here are a few other budgeting tools you can use at home. Use the one with which you are most comfortable. Expense Envelope System. This tool is useful if you pay your bills in cash each month. Make an envelope for each expense category, such as rent, gas, electricity, and food. Label the envelope with the name of the category, the amount, and the due date. When you receive income, divide it into the amounts to cover the expenses listed on the envelopes. Pay bills right away so you won't be tempted to spend the money on something else. Budget Box System the budget box is a small box with dividers for each day of the month. When you receive a bill, check the due date and place it behind the divider that represents the bill's due date. As you receive income, pay all bills that are due. Credit Counseling versus Debt Management Credit Counseling If you are not disciplined enough to create a workable budget and stick to it, cannot work out a repayment plan with your creditors, or cannot keep track of mounting bills, consider contacting a credit counseling organization. Many credit counseling organizations are nonprofit and work with you to solve your financial problems. Reputable credit counseling organizations offer free educational materials and workshops and can advise you on managing your money and debts and help you develop a budget. The counselors are certified and trained in the areas of consumer credit, money and debt management, and budgeting. Counselors discuss your entire financial situation with you and help you develop a personalized plan to solve your money problems. An initial counseling session typically lasts an hour with an offer for follow-up sessions. Debt Management If your financial problems stem from too much debt or your inability to repay your debts, a credit counseling agency may recommend that you roll in a Debt Management Plan, or DMP. 
A DMP alone is not credit counseling, and DMPs are not for everyone. You should sign up for one of these plans only after a certified credit counselor has thoroughly reviewed your financial situation and has offered you customized advice on managing your money. In a DMP, you deposit money each month with the credit counseling organization, which uses your deposits to pay your unsecured debts, such as your credit card bills, student loans, and medical bills, according to a payment schedule with your creditors. Your creditors may agree to lower your interest rates or waive certain fees, but check with all your creditors to be sure they offer the concessions that a credit counseling organization describes to you. A successful DMP requires you to make regular, timely payments and could take 48 months or more to complete. Ask the credit counselor to estimate how long it will take for you to complete the plan. You may have to agree not to apply for or use any additional credit while you are participating in the plan. Be wary of companies that promise to fix your credit problems right away. Credit repair can be a long process that may take several years. Bankruptcy. If you are struggling to make any of the aforementioned techniques work for you, bankruptcy is always an option, but it should be your last resort. Bankruptcy is a legal proceeding that adjusts the debts of individuals who cannot meet their credit obligations. Although bankruptcy eliminates most debts, certain back taxes, child support, alimony, and student loans must be paid. With a bankruptcy on your credit report, you will pay higher credit rates and receive less favorable terms on loans in the future. Bankruptcy might also make it difficult to get a mortgage, open a bank account, buy life insurance, or get a job, because creditors and employers can run a credit check to determine your history of financial commitments. A new law requires that you must get credit counseling before you can file for bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is very serious and stays on your credit record for 10 years. Use it only as a last resort.